It's one of Bray Whitley's list! Get him!
Luxor Heights, there's a... Let's call it a sports academy. Clients from all around the world come there to seek fresh talent. Contracts are signed while taxes allegedly go unpaid. It so happens that my client doesn't like people who cut corners. With my Netrunner's help, you'll enter the facility and extract the data that's of import to my client. Godspeed. you know about the job not much hands mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes here's a sitch at this academy they're training molding young athletes folks flying from across the world to meet them sign contracts you're going in as a scout for the san diego shredders name's victor wilson 28 and you're looking for a wide receiver scheduling you in their system now you following all this Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victor Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Once you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? What's the Sports Academy doing in Dogtown? Ah, they're all over the world. They make athletes stronger, better. But if you want to enhance them earlier than the legal age limit, where would you go? Where no one gives a shit. Or as it's more commonly known, Dogtown. Whatever Hansen says, goes. And nobody gives a fuck about the rest. Hans is a tax collector now. Yeah, I ain't buying it. How about shitload of Eddie's collector? Sound more believable? Job isn't glamorous, but it pays. Cover story is a little thin. Ought to flesh it out, don't you think? No need. It's your way in, nothing more. Beyond that, avoid any talk about yourself. Just blend in, get the data, and get out. All clear. Great. Quick scan, and you're good to go. After you, Victor Wilson. <laughs> so he's a gentleman now. Who'd have thought? Later. Wilson, if you'll join me, please. Uh, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. Who's using these bots? Our verbal motoric integrated interface is used by scouts such as yourself remotely, from Asia, Europe, Africa. Since not everyone can make a personal appearance in Dogtown, we've provided a solution. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm. Without an appointment, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Kids. Kids way 
too young for this kind of crime. See that, Johnny? Ladies and gentlemen, the next junior for the 2077-2078 season is Katie McCannon. Katie is a young, extremely talented sophomore. Top scoring position, midfield. See a free spot on the other side with your name on it. Can I get a double shot of sense on tequila? Go. First time I take it. Which team you scouting for? Rather drink than chat. What the? That was tempered glass. What I wouldn't give to help the owner's secret. Sorry, I have to close the bar for a second. Now's our chance to sneak behind the scenes of this fucking circus. Johnny Silverhand asking me to get him a bar. Something new every day. off the charts. Smash through that glass like paper. The training these kids get here, state of the art. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's your name? Tommy. Hi, Tommy. My name's V. What you doing here? Uh, nothing. I'm just kind of here. In the director's office? Come on. I know you were looking for something. Yeah, sort of wanted to see if I got picked for a team. But still no one. It's not fair. I've got all the right skills. The right chrome. I'm super duper fast. Your day will come. Just takes time. That's all. It's just, well, I'm getting old. <laughs> you. Old. Soon no one will want me. Not even the worst teams. Dad said I can't screw up because we live in Dogtown and career in sports is our last chance. Tough having that responsibility. But if it wasn't for your family, what would you want? Uh, have some fun, I guess. Or take a vacation. <laughs> That'd be neat. You're a good kid, Tommy. Know that? I know. Hey, chin up, kiddo. It'll all work out. You'll see. Say, little whiz like you wouldn't know where Fiona's terminal is, would you? Need it for a sec. It's right there. Can't you see? Well, would you look at that? Silly old me. See? I know everything. Yeah. Clever little rascal. Now buck up and get out of here, before Miss Fiona sees you. Yes, sir. I just need to find uh, th th that thing. Leave the boy out of this, please. Now run along, Tommy. Hop to it. But I didn't do nothing wrong. It's all right, Tommy. Go back to your room. We're reasonable people. I'm sure we can work something out. What is it you want? Password to the terminal and the data of every suit you've done biz with. Transactions, contracts, agreements. Whole enchilada. Uh, what do you intend to do with it? Got it backwards. I'm the one asking questions. I have a duty to protect my business and my clients. You understand that, I'm sure. Business? <laughs> the fucking gall. Think of the children. Would you really deprive them of their only chance for a better just life? Just gets better and better, this bitch. If you please, just hear me out. I'd like to make you an offer. Start talking, and it better make sense. Thank you. 
come. Let me show you something. See this? My patience is wearing thin, Fiona. Mark Elway, 22 years old, exceptional basketball player. Monica Diaz, 25, ranked top 15 worldwide in tennis. And our brightest star, Al Ford, the NUSA's heavyweight champion at only 21 years old. Guessing I'm about to hear this is all cause of you. I helped them, me. And if you leak my clients, this center will go under and these kids' bright future darken quick. Including Tommy. His file's right here. You help me, you help him. It's a kind of cynicism that deserves a medal. Cheap plastic kind. You're using Tommy as a bargaining chip? We all have choices to make. Here's my offer. We do a controlled leak. I'll hand over the data of a few clients of secondary importance to me. Your employer wants names, transaction details. They'll get them. Everyone walks away happy. Those kids who end up on the street with post-op implant sickness, you don't think they hang their picks here too, do you? What are Tommy's chances of scoring a contract? Close to none. Out of the best players, only 15 to 20% get signed. Tommy will probably be going home. Without any scratch to maintain his chrome, regulate his organs, and keep his body functioning properly. That's how these things go. You either win big or go home. But maybe you can still help Tommy. His file doesn't have to stay on my desk. How much you making off these poor kids and their parents? Unlike your, uh, profession, I provide chances for a better life. Not for free, granted. But the parents know the risks. It's in their contracts. Knowing and understanding, two different things. Go to Night City! Look at all those kids walking the streets, alone! Can you claim they're better off than our future athletes? You're a real good Samaritan, huh? Had it up to here with your cynical bullshit. Get me access to that data. N no need to get emotional. Uh, let's be professional about this. Shut up and grant me access. You'll be destroying everything I've built. It's a fucking idea. Access now. Fine. Here. You'll regret this sooner than you think. Just leave, please! Thank <laughs> you. 
Chipping kids there. Why so dramatic? It's an open secret by now. Everyone knows what goes on there. Few care. If I've offended your sense of moral decency, I do apologize. Contract closed. Until the next time, V.